Hello and welcome to Bailey Shooting. In this video we're taking a look at the brand new Talion XQ38. That's this unit you can see in front of me here. It's got a 384x288 sensor inside here as well as the brand new lenses from Pulsar. Uh, I'll put the technical specs up here as you can see. Um, but overall really nice compact little scope. When you do buy these scopes they don't come with the base unfortunately at the present moment in time. So for an additional price not a great deal. I am going to look after people on this. These will come with an inno mount mounting system. Uh, these are absolutely superb for moving between guns and maintaining that zero that's so important. So overall shape of the unit is very nice and compact as you can see. You've got a mechanical release flip up cover that's sprung on the front. You've got your focus wheel which is here focusing your image down range. A blue button here is your power button. You've got a battery compartment here. I'll go into that in a second. And at the back, you've got your recording option, your magnification, and your menu option. And this wheel actually turns on the back as well. On this side that you can't see, but I will put a picture of it up, you've got a USB type C charging point, which is ideal, because a lot of us that run Android phones and stuff like that, you're just gonna be able to charge up. Uh, as I said, the battery compartment on the back here, has got a locking lever. You push that across to the right, this comes up, and you can quite simply swap the APS-5 batteries out when you're in the field so you're never going to be in a position where you haven't got any power to crack on and do the job you need to do. So what we're going to do in this video is zero it. This is the first time I've put it on a gun. I've got it on a Bagara 22250 here in an MDT XRS chassis. Uh, we're going to zero it and we're going to see how we get on. Um, and hopefully get some footage this evening as well um, see whether there's anything moving around on the grounds but yeah all in all a really nice compact little unit the specs are great on this unit um, the screen in the back is super crisp you've got your ocular adjustment there as well so right yeah let's crack on we'll get this zeroed in actual fact i'll do all this just while you're uh, still recording so we'll pop that back up we'll turn this on We'll get some ammunition. I'm using 50 grain, 50 grain 22 250 from Norma, ballistic tip. It's got the uh, VMAX tip on it. So we'll load a few of these into the mag and we'll get this zeroed on paper down there at 100 yards. I have got another camera here and hopefully we'll be able to record the shots as they go down there as well. So we'll load up. I'm hoping the way it's mounted it shouldn't be too far off. I have kind of bore sighted it, uh, but we'll see. So, mag's loaded. 22-250 can be a bit iffy in these AICS magazines, so you've got to not overload the magazine because they tend to pop out funky, but that's gone in all right. So we'll press record on here. Nope, turned it off, so let's try it again. Press record on here now, so you can see the target I'm shooting at. So I'm going to do a quick three shots, nice and comfortable. I'm going to mag in. I've got it on black heat. Focus that in nice and crisp. Just like that. <coughs> It is nice having that focus thing there. Uh, nice and simple to get to. Right, so we're going to do three shots on target. One. Two. Three. Have a look on the camera, see what it felt. That is a very nice group, just low. So a full target low. So we'll go onto the menu system by pressing and holding the menu button. Uh, click on the zero in option. Go down to my zero profile. And I do love the way Pulsar does this. You get four options in the zero in profile, obviously the adjustment you get the magnification and you can freeze the screen. So we'll go on to the magnification first, select that, and we'll mag it right up so that the adjustments we make 
are the finest we can do. Select that. Go on to the freeze thing, aim smack bang dead centre where I was aiming. And press that. And now I can go on to the adjustment and actually fine tune. Uh, are they off to the left or the right? Slightly right. And then low. further than that we'll go with that and we'll just see where these go press and hold press and hold again and press and hold and I am off the menu system so yet again camera's still rolling we're aiming at the same target locked in rifles pointing naturally at the target everything is all honky-dory aiming center of ball One shot. Two shots. Oh, just left of bull. So we'll fine tune that across. Nice thing is this is a good height where I'm not getting any uh, moderator heat as well, which is all good. So we're back onto the zero in profile. Go onto there. Magnify it in to times 10. Go on to freeze, froze it there, so I haven't got to worry about holding the gun steady. And we just want to come only just left, isn't it? Just a touch. We'll come across one more. There we go. Press and hold menu, press and hold menu, and press and hold menu. And we're off. We'll go for one more shot and uh, that should be on the ball. So here we go. I think that'll do. That'll do nicely. How many rounds we've got left in here? One. We'll stick another one in. And what we'll do, we'll adjust this camera up so you can see. There you go. That'll do. Right, we're going to do two shots at the target above. Just to confirm we are on. And that'll do nicely. Yep, camera's still on. So, two shots at the target above. Aiming smack bang dead centre. Bearing in mind, I, all I can see is a black disc. That will do nicely. That is zeroed. I'm going to stop the recording now. Um, so, yes, I went through more shots than some people probably would. It's just the way I do it. I'd rather do a group to make sure everything's going where it's meant to be. Um, that zeroed there. So we'll move up onto the 200 yard point and then we'll fine tune it for a nice MPBR zero. It means this is a 22-250 and it likes to reach out. So let's crack on. So just before I go up on the 200 yard point, just to confirm, that was my first shot. I then adjusted it up and I was over to the left, pulled it across, and then I did a final group just there. That will do nicely. Let's hit the 200 yarder. Right then, so the next part of this video is to confirm at 200 yards. This is for my purposes, for varminting, what I call an MPBR zero. Um, it just means I'm on a 200 yard zero and it normally averages out to a 60 or 70 yard zero and I'm a little bit higher at 100 yards. So we're going to take a shot at one of the gongs down there. Uh, I believe we can see the gongs. Yes, I can, clear as day. So we're going to go for the big gong. Um, just because I want to see an actual stamp on that gong itself. So I'll set this to record, you'll be able to see it. And we'll take a shot at that gong. The big round one. Bear in mind I am just taking a shot at a big round black disc. So here we go.
That is absolutely bob on, as you should be able to see in the clip above. So we shall go again. Straight on top of the other one. That's what we like. So, yeah, that is absolutely bob on. Go again, same target. Stamping, stamping all on top of the same, uh, same point. So I am happy with that. This is zeroed. Um, if anybody's got any questions about the XQ38 Talion, by all means drop us a message um, and we'll get you sorted out we've got these in stock at the shop like I said the price on our website will be a little bit higher than everywhere else and that is because we're including the inner mount mounting system with uh, with the tally on as well um, tell you what I will do while we're live and on camera and while this is still running looking at that target Let's see whether this works. So I'm popping this scope. That is now off the gun completely. Wave it around a bit. I don't trust these systems, so it's going to be an education for me as well. So we'll get this back on. There we go. So technically, this should do the same thing again, we hope. So let's see whether the in mount system works. Huh. Yeah, it works. So yeah, any questions, drop us a message visit baileyshooting.co.uk we've got those on there um, the price will be reflective to the mount which clearly uh, does what it says on the tin so right then future me here and I'm still on the range but just like to butt in um, we've took this out on the grounds tonight and I'm just gonna say out to 200 yards absolutely bang on you could uh, do foxing with this uh, all day long uh, you've got to remember it's an XQ38 it's exceptional value for what it is as a thermal rifle scope but you're not going to be able to push those boundaries out to the same distances as the guys with the XP50 Pros etc um, so it has got its place uh, for uh, out to 200 yards it'll do its job well anyway back to me back on the range thanks for watching give us a thumbs up and subscribe cheers <laughs>